textiles can express the individuality of a country in a very unique way. So think of handmade quilts and rugs from Peru. But have you heard of African mud cloths? So Kristen is back now to show us how to make your own version. They mm -hmm. are beautiful. They are beautiful. And you'll know what they are as soon as you look at a real one, yeah. right? An authentic yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. So what we have here is actually one of the authentic mud cloths. So what's really beautiful about mud cloths is they're made in Mali, mm -hmm. and it's actually a process that takes several days where they pile on mud that then dyes the fabric. Uh -huh. Then they rinse it off, okay. they pile the mud on again to get to this black color. Beautiful. So it's really beautiful, but because it's so labor intensive, it can be expensive. Yes. Like I sourced this runner uh, through a fair trade company and it was like 250. Right. So I'm gonna show you how to do your own set of napkins for under $20 for all four napkins. Ooh, lovely. Yes, okay. and the expensive part is actually the napkins. Yes. Um, so, one of the easiest things to do is we're not going to go in the backyard and get mud. No. <laughs> Your kids might love that, but it might take a long time. Yeah. Um, it's actually a dyeing process. It's almost like batik. Okay. So, what you want to do is get some 100% cotton napkins. Yes. So, very simple. You can start some almost anywhere. And you're actually just going to hand draw, I can show you right here, your pattern. So, you can see I sort of pre-drew a pattern yeah. on here. They can get in yep, there. Yeah, you can see it. So it's really slightly. light. It's in pencil marks, but it's in pencil because then it will wash out when you're doing it. Perfect. So you just do pencil marks. Super easy. And then you're actually going to fill it all in with kids' glue. Oh, the glue. Okay, now, I you know have how to work to, one of these. Yeah. You have to actually use this specific glue because it's a oh. gel glue. Okay, it and has it's to be washable. gel glue. So it means eventually it will wash out, so yeah. you'll get that pattern. Do you care how specific I am being? No, you don't have to be specific at all. And what I loved about it, and I did it kind of freehand, is you yeah. can start like, like you'll see, this guy wants to cooperate. Are you going to ruin my design right now? What are you doing? No, I'm adding little circles. <laughs> oh, okay. Like there's almost no mistake. Okay. Well, I like projects where you say things like that. Yeah, right? You grab your <laughs> glass of wine and there's no mistakes. You can't do it wrong. There's no wrong way. No, you kind of want this sort of authentic, yes. abstract, right? Beautiful. It's a great project to do with the kids. The only thing I'd recommend is it sometimes makes your hand sore. Yeah. It's a lot of glue, Yeah, it's right? a lot of squeezing. But, but that's, your workout, that that's your workout for the day. That's your workout for the day. So I pre-made one for us. Okay. So we don't have to wait till we finish. Although this is really fun, Christian. Right? It's actually, and okay. it doesn't take that much time no, at all. No, it doesn't. So that's the pre-done guy. We'll just okay. move the guy down there. And then so here's one that's been done ahead of time for us. Nice. Very simple. Yep. You want to let this set overnight. Okay. Because you need that glue to be really, really stuck basically so it's in there resist the temptation to keep touching it to see if it's dry because oh. then you're just going to ruin the pattern so okay. just let it 24 hours easy let easy it. hands off so then you're going to make a dye bath mm -hmm. i will wear gloves mm -hmm. you do not have and to i will stay. watch <laughs> so the only tricky thing with gloves with dye baths is i make sure you've got new gloves I had a hole in one and I had a black thumb for a day or so. Oh, man. So just be careful. Um, so the trick with this also though is you wanna make sure, usually when you dye, you do a very hot heat water. Yeah. Don't do that this time. Oh, really? It'll melt your glue. Oh, that's true. So just make it sort of room temperature water. Mm -hmm. I use this dye. Other dyes could work as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it yet. Mm -hmm. Every black has a bit of different black. Mm -hmm. And then you're actually just gonna soak it. And you do you want ready? something dark in color dark because dark, it's it supposed needs to be, be emulating yeah. mud. I mean, you could do any color you want, but basically you want it to be black. Okay. So you're going to let it follow the instructions in the package. And this yeah. one, you add some salt. You're supposed to rinse it around a bunch for 15 minutes and then let it sit for an hour. Yes. It's got, I can imagine it has to sit for a really so long time. you let it time. sit for an hour. Then you're going to rinse it in cold water. Yes. And then you're going to rinse it in warm water, which actually takes off all the glue. Oh. So if you grab that napkin right there, Does that the is our finished come off product. Easily? Yes, yeah, so all you use is hot soapy water. It's kids' glue. Oh, right? Okay. It's supposed to be taking off the kids' clothing, so it comes Beautiful. off very easily. Beautiful. And you know what? I love the fact that we do DIYs and show you how to do things at home. If you want to, you know, pay respect to the original yep. artist, you do both. Yep. Right? Go and get these maybe for your runner and use these for your table, yep. and you've got them both done. And I'll show you, I even had a mistake. It's a little bit lighter, and but it's, it's still, still good. Beautiful. Christian, thanks so much for the great project.